As the sea level has been rising, sand from the beaches has been disappearing. Local beaches need a lot of it. Trouble is, San Diego surfers believe sand projects that are planned impact the surf and not always in a way that they appreciate. Fox Size Walter Morris spent the day with the people from Surfrider who are approaching the concern using the scientific method. Local beaches are eroding, but the solution may create more problems. Whether it's fortunately or unfortunately, beach nourishment is a part of our future because most of the sand supplies to our beaches have been cut off. The San Diego Association of Governments is launching a $28 million beach restoration project. Starting this week, one and a half million cubic yards of beach quality sand will be injected into beaches from Imperial Beach to Oceanside. The new sand will protect homes and add to the region's signature beauty, but in some cases it could change the way the waves break. You don't want the sand to cover reefs or um, basically fill in surf spots and make the waves really crumbly or go away. Conversely, it could potentially make the surf better by creating new sandbars. That's where these cameras come in. Thanks to the Surf Riders Foundation and a San Diego Neighborhood Investment Grant, cameras are being placed at Imperial Beach, Solana Beach, Cardiff, Moonlight Beach, and Carlsbad. They will monitor the surf remotely, measure the waves, and archive the images daily to track the changes. So this is our attempt to get some qualitative data and, and move away from the anecdotal information. The camera installation is just the beginning. Once all of that sand is poured, the surf riders will need help from volunteers to keep data. The more the merrier, uh, the more eyes we have on this, uh, the better it is for the, the study. Sandag will start replenishing sand at Imperial Beach Wednesday. The work will begin inside in about a month and then the other North County beaches after that. From Encinitas, Walter Morris, Fox 5 News.